Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more of the Star Fox 64 Let's Play. Today, we're going to be focusing on just the normal path stages. Katina is battling the enemy. Will you help him out? Affirmative, General. So, first up we have Katina. This is another all range mode stage. Hang on, guys. Help is on the way. And we have some other characters we're going to end up meeting here, so... Yes, we're fighting a huge wave of enemy soldiers. Bill! Is that you? I can't believe it! Fox, that's one of ours! <laughs> okay, so here's the deal. Um... There are a lot of ships here. Uh, not only are there a lot of enemy ships, but there's also a lot of allied ships. Uh, the enemy ships are the ones that are, like, darker. And they're almost like little, like, stealth bomber-like vehicles. I don't know what to call them, honestly. Uh, your allied ships are ones that are a little bigger. And not only that, but you can't lock onto your allies either, so keep that in mind. But, um, as Bill said, there's an enemy mothership on the way, as you can see in the distance there. And, uh, this is probably, I think, one of the harder, uh, medals to get in the game. Uh, because time limit is very strict here. Uh, you have to get 150 for the medal. And, uh, there are different parts of the mothership which can give you a lot of points, but... I think at most you can only get, um... And again, I could be wrong on the exact numbers here, but around like 35 points. So there's like over 100 points worth of just normal ships you need to get rid of, so keep that in mind. Uh, so here, this is how this will work. Um, there are four hatches on the underside of the mothership. Um... You have to destroy all four of those hatches to basically get the cork to appear. And if you destroy the hatches fast enough, you'll get, like, some good bonus points. I think you get, like, plus five uh, for each hatch you destroy. However, if you destroy all the hatches, the core will s start a countdown. So you almost need to delay destroying the hatches. And more than that, the more hatches there are, the more enemies that will get released onto the field, too. So you have to kind of, like, manage, like, not just when you destroy the hatches to get those bonus points, but also just make sure you kill a lot of enemies and kill a lot of enemies fast enough, too. Because at some point, the countdown will start regardless of what hatches you've destroyed, so keep that in mind. You're still on a time crunch here, which is what I think makes this metal really hard to get. Uh, you get no KOs for killing allied units, obviously. And, um, more than that, uh, there is actually, like, a, a lot of people say there's, like, a special ending for not killing any allied ships, but it's really hard to get, and I don't think it's really as much of, an, like, an ending as it is just, like, a cinematic difference or whatnot. Because basically any um, ships you save, you can actually see them in the background when you're leaving the level. And that's basically all that is. Um, but yeah, that I know that was a mouthful. There's a lot to talk about when it comes to this level. This is probably the best, like, all-range level in the game. But um, it is the hardest to get the metal on, in, in my opinion. Well... I don't know, the other, I, the, there's another all range stage that's also pretty difficult, but I'll talk about that later. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm just trying to kill as much as I can. I'm over a hundred now. Um, I lost a freaking wing again. Man, it is, it, sometimes it's really hard to keep these wings, even on normal mode. But yeah, Bill will obviously mention whenever the hatches are open. I guess my, like, if I had to give a word of advice, i say just, like, keep the hatches open until you have, like, around 100. Then start destroying the hatches. 
Don't destroy them all at once, like destroy like two or three, kill a few enemies, then try to kill the final ones. That should give you like a decent amount of points. And, um... Okay, well there was a wing repair. Is that still gonna be there, or did I miss it now? Oh, looks like I missed it. Dang it. That's a I might just like redo this stage without the metal, since once you get the metal, you don't have to worry about getting it again. Like, it'll save on your cartridge. Which I do appreciate. Uh, so as you can see, the core did appear right here, so... Um, because I've taken a long time, though, I don't think I'm going to get full credit for it. So what I decided to do here is I decided to just destroy some more ships. Um, you do have a full minute to do it, and the core doesn't take too long to destroy, so... You don't have to worry about, like too much of a time crunch. So I'd say uh, um, I'm gonna wait till I get like 145 or something. Get a few more kills. Actually 144 would work as well. Yeah Bill, I know, I know. Okay, yeah, we we're definitely getting it now. Okay, so I just like, okay, let me just get back here a bit, turn around, and then we'll just put our full force damage into it. And there we go. So yeah, we only got a plus two combo for that. So yeah, that bonus does get smaller the longer you take. So keep that in mind. It, it's a hard stage. It's a hard stage to get the metal on, like I said before. And again, sorry I was talking so much. There's just a lot to decompress there. <laughs> a lot going on. But we still have to see the bad ending, Take don't care, we? Boss. You too, Bill. I think we killed all the allied ships, though, because I only see Bill there. <laughs> Normally you see, like, whatever ships survived of your allies, but I don't see anyone except Bill. So I think I legitimately destroyed every single allied ship there, which is pretty insane. But yeah, we got the medal. We get to move on to the next planet. But before we do, we have a bad ending to see. So as you can see, we have 30 seconds left uh, before the ship um, fires its destruction beam, I guess. And, um... I know that this is often, uh... often compared to the movie Independence Day. So, uh, get ready for that. Because if you let the time run out... Get out of here now! All aircraft break away! There, we get the bad music again. And with this, we get pushed down to Sector X. Dang. Don't get you down, Fox. Yeah, war is not pretty. It is not pretty at all. But I'm going to go ahead and cut to another successful attempt. Because we're going to Solar. The planet smack dab right in the middle of the Lilat system. And, uh, ugh, I don't like this planet. 
That area's an oven. Don't go burning that R wing. Be reasonable, Fox. I'll be careful. So yes, welcome to Solar, the hot planet. This planet is so hot that as you'll notice in a second when we get started, As we're flying through here, we'll be constantly losing health. It's that hot. Really annoying gimmick, but it's the gimmick. Thankfully, it's not a very long stage, and you'll have plenty of ways to restore your health. And that goes for your teammates, too, so don't worry about that. Um, but yeah, so far, um, the metal is 100 KOs here. And if you come here from Katina... Bill actually shows up to help you out. Don't get too excited. And uh, that's actually a thing for Sector X as well. I didn't talk about that because obviously we didn't take the normal path there. But if you go to uh, Katina, then go to Sector X, uh, Bill will actually show up on Sector X. And he can, he can actually help you out with the warp if you want to go to the hard path. But obviously, uh, you don't need him for that. And that's just what he does. And he literally just shows up here briefly to shoot a few rocks and give you some power-ups. That's really about it. Um, but yeah, uh, there's only 100 KOs required for the metal on this stage. Um, there's actually, like, not a lot of enemies here. So as a result, um, you need to take advantage of any big waves with bombs. Also, uh, destroy those enemies as quickly as you can just to keep Falco's health up. Destroy the rocks whenever they're around. Collect as many bombs as you can. We'll have two good bomb spots coming up here in a minute. Or a second, rather. Closer to a second than a minute, I'll say that much. Yeah, I believe, like, right here from off to this anyway. After this, from like I think uh, the left, we get like a whole bunch of enemies, so you want to use a bomb right there. Yep, so, right here, bomb. Get rid of those, and then we'll also have some other enemies coming up here shortly. And there we go, we have the metal score. And right after that. We have the boss, so yes, this is a very short stage. This is the enemy's bioweapon? Andros is an insane fool. Data analysis yeah. complete. Here it comes. This is a pretty crazy looking boss, not gonna lie. Uh, so for this guy, you need to destroy his arms first. Once you destroy his arms, then his uh, head becomes vulnerable. He does get a little crazier with attacks, though, so keep that in mind. Yeah, this guy will shoot rocks from his mouth. He'll make a bunch of uh, waves. And then he does this attack right here, where he, like, shoot, like spins around and shoots lava balls at you. But he's not too bad. He also has a pretty cool, like, that's, like, a really cool death pose, I guess, too. His head just pops off and you get the points. <laughs> and yeah, that's Solar. Um, not a fan of that planet, and I swear, that stage is a lot shorter than I remember it being when I was younger. I always remember it just being like a huge chore whenever I got this stage, but... In reality, it's really, really short. You worry about your own heart. Um, but yeah, no matter what you do here, uh, there's no alternate path. No matter what, you go to uh, the next planet on the normal path. So, yeah, let's uh, move on to a much better planet. <laughs> Probably one of the best planets in the game, if I'm being honest. But uh, we're moving on to Macbeth.
Not to be confused with the uh, play Macbeth. So yeah, we're gonna go here and see what we can do. So you're going to attack the enemy base? Great idea, Fox. It'll be a piece of cake, General. You say that, Fox, but let's see if that's actually the case. And yeah, this is the second stage of the Landmaster, and it's a much better stage. This stage is a lot better than Titania. So for this stage, we have this train that we're going to be following for a huge amount of the stage. You get a lot of points if you destroy the um, train cars. But you get a lot of points destroying all the enemies, too. So you can kind of alternate between uh, the two. Destroy all the enemies in the immediate area. Then focus on taking out the train. It's really not a hard metal score to beat. Uh, these rocks will also give you points. So keep that in mind. I feel like when I was younger, I didn't know that the rocks gave you points. But yeah, they do. And it's worth killing them. <laughs> Or destroying them, rather. You can't really kill a non-living thing, I guess. You, you get what I'm saying. Um, but yeah, this level is very easy to get the medal. It's only 150. And um, technically, if you get the best route, you only need 100. Because the best route gives you a plus 50 combo at the very end. So, it's really not that hard to get the medal here. So not only is it a fun stage to play, but it's also an easy medal to get, too, so... Definitely, uh, like that. So yeah, this is probably one of my top five favorite stages in this game. I like this stage, um... Well, there's a couple of stages I like that we haven't seen yet, so I don't want to speak too much about that. But I also really like, uh, I kind of like Sector X, actually. The planet on the easy path. Generally, the easy path is kind of like where the less fun stages are, but I feel like in, um... Of those easy stages, Sector X is probably the best one. Meteo is also pretty fun. Like I said before, Katina is a good all-range mode stage. So yeah, there's there's some good there's some good stages that we've seen, but there's some also some great stages we haven't seen yet. So let's uh. Let's try to keep our enthusiasm up for those, at the very least. So yeah, we're at 100 at the midway point. We should definitely get the medal, as long as we go the um, hard path here, so we should be more than fine. So at around this point, the boss will start to uh, do his thing. Like, the boss fight will actually be kind of going on while we're doing our hard path objective. So, uh, keep that in mind. Uh, Peppy will mention uh, about changing the switch up ahead. And that's what you need to focus on. You'll find basically these eight signs. We need to hit all eight of these. So there's one, there's two, there's four, and then there's three. We got uh, four others we have to hit. You're very lucky. believe five is right there. So yeah, as you can see, the boss has already started doing his thing. You can find him if you want, but ultimately we're trying to go the hard route, so we do not want to destroy him in this fashion. So there's number six. Number seven, and then number eight, I believe, is right there. So now we have to shoot the switcher up here. And then hit the switch. And we did it. Get 
I think the logic there is that we destroyed, like, the fuel depot, likely killed a lot of enemy soldiers in the process, so that's where the plus 50 came from. Yeah, kick some tail. That's what you gotta do. That's what you gotta do. Um, but yeah, that is the... Uh, that is the good ending. But, as you probably expected, there is a... Slightly less good ending. And, um... We're gonna go ahead and take a look at that next. But, uh, there's the metal... And doing this will take us to the Hard Path Stage 6, Area 6. But, we're not going there. Quite yet. but I always liked when he said that for some reason. Uh, so yeah, we're going to ignore the objective here and we're just going to try to fight him normally. All you have to do is just shoot at him. You kind of shoot at the lower part of his machine body thing. At some point, um, at some point he'll lose those pieces of armor. And then there is also a second phase that's kind of weird. I'll get to that in a second once we blow all this other stuff up. And yeah, when you get to the point where you can't really hit him anymore, you have to wait until, like, the back train car opens. And when it opens, like, you, I guess you stun, like, the power source from his, like, little, like, robot thing. And um, as a result, uh, when he's stunned, you can actually do damage to him. I think that's the process anyway. Also, while you're doing this, you can get some extra kills by fighting the enemies here, if you're not quite at the metal score yet. But ultimately, the plus 50 is just a better way to do it. And um, I'll go ahead and say it right now. You do not have unlimited time for this boss fight. There's actually, um, I'm going to try to link a video in the video description, but um, there's actually an alternate ending where if you take too long, the boss will just kill you. And I actually did not know that was a thing, basically until YouTube came out and there were actual videos of it. I had no idea it was a thing, but yeah, if you take too long, the boss is like, you're too slow, I'm just going to kill you, and then he just kills you. It's, uh, it's pretty crazy, but, um, yeah, that is actually a thing, so keep that in mind. But, yeah, I finally figured out what I was supposed to do here. I kind of forgot, because I never like fighting the boss this way. I mean, why would you? The, the blowing up the train station is not only the better ending, it's just a lot cooler to do. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, if you uh, go this route, uh, you'll be stuck going to Bulse. And if you didn't go to Fortuna, you'll probably also fight the Star Wolf team there too, which is kind of cool. No, get away! But um, yeah, that's that's pretty much uh, that ending. God, I really wish I could show the. Uh, I just don't want to do it for that long. Yeah, I'll just link a video in the video description. I've taken a few hits, but I'm okay. So hopefully I remember that. You worry about your own hide. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. Uh, thank you guys for watching. 
and next time we're going to be working on the hard route because we've essentially met that point where we either go the hard route or the easy route. We've already showed the easy route, so we're just going to go back a few stages. We're going to go to Aquas, and then we're going to basically uh, take on the um, hard mode stages. So this has been Slim Kirby. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Later, folks.